what you're gonna do when they come for you. Ain't no bad boy. What you talking about? God's good. Ain't no bad. God's good. Ain't no bad. Ain't no bad boy. You're a good boy. Learn it. Live it. Love it. Do it. Stop the what you're living. Stop the what you're doing. Get the word of God or you're gonna go to hell. Well, yeah. Don't tell me you're bad boy. Check your attitude out. Check your living out. Check your loving out. Because if you ain't checking your living, if you ain't checking your loving, if you ain't checking your giving, if you ain't checking your forgiving, guess what? You're gonna get it. You're gonna go to hell. Yeah. You better believe it. Countdown songs. Check it out. 106. You ain't got time. Get out. Go away. Don't have time. And get somewhere else. Praise ye the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Yeah, God is good. You ain't good. God's good. For his mercy endures forever. Better believe it. If his mercy don't endure, huh, you in trouble. So am I. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Hear it. Do it. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can show all his praises? It ain't you. Don't look down. And it ain't me. Blessed are they that keep judgment. And he that doeth righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation, that I may see the good of the chosen, that I may rejoice in gladness of the nation, that I may glory with thine inheritance. We have sinned. <laughs> I sinned, you sinned, they sinned, she sinned, he sinned, we sinned. That's the we. Get it? Got it? Good. You better get it, because we all sinned. With our fathers, we have committed iniquity. We have done wickedly. Huh, it's not his fault, it's not her fault, not their fault, not their fault. It's your fault. It's my fault. We did it. Get it? You better. Our fathers understood not the wonders that happened in Egypt. Huh. They remembered not the multitude of thy mercies, but provoked him at the sea. Even at the Red Sea, they were whining and shining and complaining, just like today. Tell me about the president. Don't whine at me. Don't tell me about it. Don't get about it. Shut up. Get real. Get with God. Get on the program. Don't tell me you're like the children of Israel in the desert whining about what's wrong. Tell me what's right. Get with it. Get with the program. Or go to hell. That's what God says. Get to heaven or get to hell. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake. Because, yeah, he put his name on them, so he just saved them anyways. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I'll keep them around. That he might make his mighty power to be known. Yeah, change them around, maim them, make, you know, do something with them. He rebuked the Red Sea also, and it was dried up. So he led them through the wilderness, and he led them through the depths, and he led them through the sea, and he led them from here, and he led them to you, and he led them to me, and now we learn from their mistakes. You make their mistakes, you stupid. Read it. Don't do like they did. And he saved them from the hand of him that hated them, and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. The waters covered their enemies. There was not one of them, not two of them, not three of them, none of them left. Huh. Wipe them out. Don't tell me you got to get a gun. Don't tell me you got to get a crew. Don't tell me you got to get saved. Don't tell me you got to have all this protection. If you can't trust in the Lord, you can't trust. If you can't believe in God, you can't believe. If you can't know that God took care of the problem, then you don't know God, and he ain't your God. Huh. Check it out. They believed his word and sang his praises, and the waters covered their enemies, and not one of them was left. But they soon forgot his works. They didn't wait for his counsel. They did their own thing. They said, we got freedom. We got choices. We can do what we want. We can be what we want. We can be all we can be. Huh. Says who? It wasn't God. They soon forgot his works, and they waited not for his counsel, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tempted God in the desert. Huh. In America, don't they tempt them? In America, don't they believe them? Don't in America, don't they do it? Guess what they do? Ain't they living for God? Ain't they doing what God? Where is God when they said what they would do? Huh? Who told you to do it? God? Show me. 
Who told you to believe this way? God, show me. Don't tell me what the scripture says. Don't tell me what the word says. I got the word. Right there. God said it. I didn't. They envied Moses also in the camp. But they lusted exceedingly in the desert and tempted God and he gave them their request. But sent leanness to their soul. Huh. What's America got now? <laughs> Shallow Christians. They envied Moses. They envied everybody. They wanted this. They wanted that. They want to get this. They want to get that. They want abundant life. They want a Harley. They want a home. They want a house. They want a car. They want to get a text. They want to get this. They want to be this. They want to be that. They want to have a tap. They want to have this. They want to get it a rat. They want to get a rat. They want to get a gun. They want to get home. They want to get there. They want to do this. Where's God in all that? Huh. And the earth opened up and swallowed up Dathan and covered the company of a barum. You want to mess with my man? You want to mess with my man? You want to mess with God? Hey. Earth swallow you. Check it. I'm warning you. And a fire was killed with their company, and fire burned up the wicked. And they made a calf in Horeb, and worshipped a molten calf. Don't tell me about your rock stars. I know. Don't tell me you ain't worshiping American Idol. I know. Don't tell me you ain't bowing down to your television set. I know. Let's get real. Let's get right. Let's get it on with God. Or get away. Because guess what? The day is coming. Thus they changed their glory into the similitude of an ox that eats grass. They forgot God their Savior, which had done great things in Egypt and wondrous works in the land of Ham and terrible things in the Red Sea. Therefore he said that he would destroy them. God was going to destroy the children of Israel. Listen. God's going to destroy you unless you listen. God's going to destroy me unless we pay attention. But Moses, ho! Hey Mo, check it out! You want to do what? You want to save them people? Are you crazy? You want to keep them people? Are you nuts? Huh. Man, you'll go down with Ten Commandments, they'll come back with 633. Huh. 13? Oh, okay. Well, whatever. They'll mess it up, I'm sure of that. They forgot their Savior. Therefore he said that he would destroy them had not Moses his chosen stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath lest he should destroy them. And Moses said, God, take my name out of the book of life, but don't wipe out these people. You save them, you got to live with them. Deal with them, because I got to. So do you. Yeah, they despise the pleasant land. They didn't believe his word, just like today. They live in the land, but they don't do his word. They say they're Christians, but they don't listen. They say that they're with God, but they don't do it. They don't act like it. They don't believe it. They don't tell me that God is with them. They don't tell me that God is for them. They don't tell me that God told them. They tell me what the Bible says, what the pastor says, what the elders say. You tell me what God says. I'll listen. I may not pay too close attention, but I'll listen. But they murmured in their tents and hearkened not unto the voice of the Lord. Because they weren't listening. You hear it? It's called an ear. You got two of them. You should be listening. Therefore he lifted up his hand against them to overthrow them in the wilderness, to overthrow their seed among the nations and to scatter them in their lands. And they joined themselves unto Baal Peor and ate sacrifices unto the dead. They did disgusting things. And they provoked him to anger with their inventions and plague break upon them. Ha! Huh. Don't tell me you don't know why it's sunshine burning up the crops. Don't tell me you don't know why there's tornadoes. Don't tell me you don't know why there's floods. Don't tell me you don't know why there's HIV or plague or cancer or all the other things that keep coming upon us. You don't know, and you're stupid. Ha! Huh. Check it. Says so in the word. Thus they provoked him to anger. Then stood up Phineas and executed judgment and said, Hey, we gotta get it together. We gotta get it right. We gotta turn to God. We gotta learn to his might. Lean on him, not on us. We gotta understand what we've been doing. God forgive us. Have mercy. And that was counted unto him for righteousness unto all generations forevermore, because he stood up 
and he admitted it. They angered him also at the waters of strife, so that it went ill with Moses for their sakes. But they provoked his spirit so that he spoke unadvisedly with his lips. Pissed him off. He got mad. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, but they mingled among the heathen and learned their works. You want to act like the world? You want to be like the world? You want to get your tats? You want to get your purple hair? You want to get everything all together? Hey, you don't got to have a hoodie. You don't got to have a hat. You got to have the Word of God. You got to know where it's at. Because if it ain't with God, you ain't getting it. It don't matter what you wear. It don't matter where you care. It don't matter what you think. It don't matter who you are. What matters? Do you know God? Are you doing what God said? Are you listening? Are you paying attention? Are you being it? Are you living it? Are you doing it? Are you giving it? Are you being forgiven? If you are, you better be loving. And you better be forgiving others. You better stick with mercy and grace. Because God knows I can see you. And you need it. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Yeah, we ain't talking about my problems. <laughs> I need mercy and grace. Mercy, God. Huh. Oh. And they served their idols, which there's a snare unto them. God help you, America. You're screwed up. Yeah, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and their daughters, whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. Yeah, go ahead. Send your kids to the Army, to the Navy, to the Marines. Go ahead. Make them into servicemen. Because who are they servicing? They sure as hell am not servicing God. Don't tell me that God sent you there. Huh. You tell me God sent you to the military, you better be doing something about saving some souls because if it's just about taking them, I don't think God sent you there. They were defiled among their own works and went a-whoring with their own inventions. They kept making up stuff, just like today. They kept inventing stuff, just like today. You think you text. You think your iPad. You think your computer. You think you got it. You think your phone's smart. Yeah, I bet the phone's a hell of a lot smarter than you are. Guess what? <laughs> Word of God tells you that. <laughs> your inventions, they're just inventions. and They're going to end. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people in so much as he abhorred his own inheritance. He said, Enough! And he gave them into the hand of the heathen. And they that hated them ruled over them. Yeah, you want to know why you got your rulers? You want to know why you got your magistrates? It ain't because of how you voted. It ain't because of what you thought. It ain't because of what you did. It's because of the way you acted. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Pay attention to him and he'll put the right man in charge. You don't do what God says, God says, fine. Here, I'll put somebody in charge. How's that working out for you? Huh. You want God or you want somebody else in charge? Go ahead, vote. Tell me you got a choice. Yeah, who are you going to pick? I'll take God because you know what? Between the two that you're picking, you're a fool. Their enemies oppressed them and they were brought into subjection under their hand, which is why you don't do it unless God tells you to do it. Many times did he deliver them, but they provoked them with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. Nevertheless, nevertheless, God had mercy. He regarded their affliction when he heard their cry and he remembered them for his covenant and repented according to the multitude of his mercies. God said, ah, 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 ah. Mercy. <laughs> okay. It says so right there. Check it. 106. You don't get it? Read it. You ain't paying attention? Guess what? Wake up. Otherwise you go to hell. And he remembered them for his covenant and repented according to the multitude of mercies and he made them also to be pitied of all those that carried them captives. Save us, O Lord our God and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks unto thy holy name and to triumph in thy praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. And all the people say, 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 all the people say amen. All the people say amen. You better be saying amen. Huh. 
Praise ye the Lord, 106 Psalm. Check it. You don't believe it. You don't have to. But it's going to come and get you. One way or the other. <laughs> yeah. That's the one thing about God. He may have mercy, but He also has judgment. He may have love, but He also has judgment. He may have kindness, but He also has judgment. You better figure out which hand you're going to be on. Because if it's on the left hand, <laughs> you're checking out, baby. <laughs> but if it's on the right hand, man, Jesus seated at the right hand of the Father. That's where you want to be. You got to get it. You got to live it. You got to do it. You got to know it. You better check in with you know who, because if you ain't checking in with him, you're checking out. <laughs>